Welcome back to the channel, everybody. My name is Frank. I'm glad you're here. If you're new, drop a subscribe down below and let's get right into this episode. Last time out, James Kingpin Price put on a huge win in the first round for his Strike Force debut. In this one, we will just be working here with Boss Rutin, working on the ground game, and getting ready for this second fight in Strike Force. I'll see everybody out there when it's time to work on our stand up game. And here we are, Kendall Carlson walking out, making his way to the Octagon at the Pantheon. I'm feeling really good about our chances tonight, and let's see what James Kingpin Price is looking to do. The undefeated fighter, 13 and 0, walking to the ring now from Las Vegas, Nevada, and he's feeling the fury in his body. I'm gonna let the announcements take place after this tale of the tape. 6'3", 253 is our opponent. 6'5", 240 is James Kingpin Price. Let's see what the announcer has to say. It's showtime. We welcome you to the Pantheon. This fight is scheduled three rounds in the heavyweight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a brawler, fighting out of the United States, Kendall the Freak Carlson. The Freak. Wow. All right. Let's see what he's about. Comes in, gets a nice now, subtle bow, tip of the hat. Using his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. Let's do it. He is a wrestling standout, fighting out of the United States, James Kingpin. Price. Know the name, know the game. It's James Kingpin Bryce. No doubts, he's getting this victory today. We're gonna find out Are about a ready? glove tap Are when we step ready? out here with Kendall let's Carlson, and let's see exactly and how he wants to approach this started. fight. The Good glove tap. Now he's a brawler, so we're looking for a takedown automatically. Take Not necessarily getting that one, but a good slip of the head to miss that uppercut that he threw at me. And maybe a deny as he tries to get up, and a beautiful one at that. Now we are in this position, half guard, top, that is. Well and now we are in a side mount control, side control, nice Carlson and easy, making it look good too. Beautiful, posture up, mount. and you know, he's trying to get me off of him, but we're not going for it. Ready to deny, ready to block, ready to do everything, good deny, good deny. Wow, not good enough though. He has the back. Looking to deny here, tries to shake me off, but he actually wants to go and give up his back. Once again, tries to go right back to the top mount position. Not the greatest position to be in, especially against James Kingpin Price. This is where he lives and breathes. All of his stats culminate into this type of game plan. Now, I don't want to actually just run, about, run him up out of here, excuse me, too fast. But I just kind of want to nice and easy drain the stamina as he pops me off his head. Nice. Circle away from Beautiful. Power, good circle. left. Good leg. Oh, good kick to the body, but I try to go up top. Circle away from his power. We got you, boss. Oof, good uppercut. See if we can throw something of our own. Now, we do not have anywhere near the same amount of health as this guy, so it will not be a fair fight on the feet, necessarily in the, in the health aspect. But I mean, on the ground, we are nothing but dominant. Now he's going through that clinch, 84. We know he has it here. Looking to break this. Only an 80 overall stat here for James Kingpin Price. Get in there, come on. Yeah, man, we gotta make a, we gotta make a change. Good takedown. Now James Kingpin Price gets to the full guard and I'm looking for the rubber guard look. Beautiful. Lands a shot to the head. It could be a go go plata here. If he allows it. If he allows it. Ah, but he doesn't. Good punch right from the go. bottom. Another one. A good block now. Look at James Kingpin Price looking to work. And a beautiful oh, reversal using sweep, all the body weight and a sweep that allows us to get right back on top on Kendall Carlson. Kick to the body. Another one. I'm looking for the legs. Start working them legs. Oof. Backing up now. He lands a right jab. He's a brawler. Yeah, we know that. Come on. Come on. Stay on him. Good head kick. Left. What about the uppercut? Left Good slip. Not blocking it. Looking for the jab and the left hand. But it's just three jabs in a row. Great job Beautiful slip strike. from Kendall Carlson. Whoa, and a nice good block, nice block from James Kingpin. Now looking for an uppercut. Almost gets knocked out there. Lands a lethal hook to the head. Take down. Take down. Was not expecting it. Beautiful. We're starting to switch it up now. It's about that time. I knew Strike Force was going to be the opportunity 
for James Kingpin Price to really start working and becoming the fighter that he needs to be. The crowd, though, still chanting. We can hear him faintly. Nothing crazy happening, but a wow, great, a great reversal shot. and a nice sweep here by Kendall Carlson, and he lets me up. But a beautiful kick from James Kingpin on the back, and maybe, oh, he goes right into the full guard, and let's Showing see if we can get him with this Gogo Plata. Maybe. Ah, no luck. A lot of blood now on the body of James Kingpin Price, obviously. Oh, a good arm catch as well. Definitely a really good move that I want to learn coming up here. Trying to get a nice sweep from the bottom and no luck. Maybe now jumping right into the closed guard, the full mount. Good block. Ah, no luck though. Really trying to get something happening here on the bottom. It's very tough. Right back to the half guard on the bottom. Looking into the full mount. Or the full guard, excuse me. Beautiful. I mean, they're calling it the close guard, but I mean, the full guard, close guard, doesn't matter. Beautiful rubber guard right now. Training in Brazil is the distinct part of the fight style. We hear the announcers talking about him. Oh, no. Beautiful punch. I have to get up out of here. Got to get out of here. Beautiful transition as well. Now looking to get into the top control, but no luck. And wow, really great transition here. And a beautiful reversal. Oh, my goodness. James Kingpin Price looking like a pro right now. Randy Couture has nothing on him. Now we're putting some good punches in, and he gives up his back. Looking for the rear naked choke, maybe. To end this round off, we could choke him out in the first round. And that is the end of the round. First round in the books, James Kingpin Price looking for this victory in the second round. Let's see if he wants to tap up. Nope, let's just keep it tap at the beginning. Like Daniel Cormier says, if y'all ever be watching the uh, fight nights or whatnot, or the uh, main cards, Daniel Cormier, he is one that is pretty adamant on not wanting the fighters to tap gloves. At the end of the fights, I think he said he only wants them to tap kind of at the beginning, you know what I'm saying? Like just a little bit of respect. But last time I checked, a lot of fighters like tapping up throughout the fight as a show of, okay, yeah, man. Whatever happened that last round was last round. Let's settle the score. Respect. Let's go into the second round. But me personally, I don't know. I'm kind of with Daniel Cormier. I feel like if you guys are in a fight, you guys can tap it up at the very beginning. He gives you an opportunity to tap up. If you would like to, you can. You know what I'm saying? That's the, what the referee does. And if you don't want to, you don't have to. And here's the Gogo Plata. Looking for it now. And we could, could get this. It's going to be very tough. But I know... If we stay on it, we can get it. Looking for the submission now. He's going to tap. We hear Boss Rutten encouraging us to stay on it. And beautiful. The Gogo Plata ends up going in in a second round KO. Blood all over the body. And we see James Kingpin Price ripping the benefits today. Look at that. Blood on his ribs and his arm. It looks dried at this point. I thought it would be more of like a... Looks like coagulated blood on his body, honestly. Like that brown dried up blood, which looks disgusting in my opinion. But I mean, that is exactly what this game is all about. And let's hear the final decision. By way of submission, James Kingpin Price. He looks like a Greek gladiator out there tonight. A great win with Boss Rutten in the corner like we was in week one. All right, everybody. I just want to say thank you very much for tuning in. I greatly appreciate all the support I've been getting on the channel. If you were new and want to see more daily uploads, subscribe for those. It's been Frank in the Octagon with James Kingpin Price. Peace out and stay safe, everybody.